This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. All right, so middle child syndrome is the belief that middle children are often excluded, ignored, or even outright neglected because of their birth order. Hi everyone, Ta here. The Galaxy Tab S8 Plus sits right in the middle of Samsung's new trio of high-end Android-powered tablets. So does middle child syndrome apply here? I don't think so. If anything, this is the one to get if you want a reasonably sized AMOLED display without a notch. The Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is the sequel to the very good Galaxy Tab S7 Plus that came out in 2020. Keeping it real, if I put these two side by side and asked you to pick them apart, you'd have a hard time. On the outside, they're pretty much identical and very similar overall. The S8 Plus does get the latest processor, some camera upgrades, a more responsive S Pen, and a boost in durability. After a year and a half, my Tab S7 Plus has plenty of scratches and dings around the frame, so the extra durability is good if you want to go caseless. There's also a couple of other minor spec bumps, but honestly, if you own a Tab S7 Plus, I'd argue there's no must-have reason to rush out and upgrade right now. You should be fine for another year or two. We've been driving around. One of the main reasons I own a tablet is, of course, to watch stuff on it. The Galaxy Tab S8 Plus has a really, really nice screen paired with a total of four speakers that just invites you to binge watch stuff on it. The aspect ratio also just frames content so perfectly. And because it's AMOLED, you get these inky blacks making the content so much more immersive in a dark room. I do want to mention that at very low brightness levels, my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus had this really weird green tint to it. Yeah, thankfully I'm not experiencing that at all with the newer model, which is great. This display is still 120 hertz, but it doesn't have that fancy adaptive refresh rate that Samsung's using on their flagship phones. You can lock it at 60 for a better battery or 120 hertz for a smoother experience. Oh, and I still don't love the optical scanners Samsung is using here. Thankfully, the 2D face unlock works great for me. Starting at $899, we should all expect to do more than just consume content on this tablet. In my review of the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, I called it a multitasking monster, and that's even more true today. The amount of multitasking options that Samsung has built in is actually very impressive. For example, you have the basic stuff like running three apps split across the screen with the ability to resize the windows to your liking. You can also open more apps and resizable pop-up windows that can be minimized and called upon whenever needed. I, of course, can't forget about the pinnable taskbar that allows you to quickly switch between apps just like on a desktop computer. Oh, and there's also this thing called Samsung DeX, which is a separate mode that turns the tablet UI into a Windows-like interface. You know, for those of you who prefer a more familiar computer experience, it kind of mimics that. This thing also has legit external monitor support. Plug it into a display, pair up a Bluetooth keyboard plus mouse, and you got yourself a decent home computer. Keep in mind, this still runs Android apps, so don't go throwing away your laptop just yet. Everyone uses the computers differently, so definitely give it a test run to see if DeX can handle every task in your workflow. I will say for basic computing needs, I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised by the experience. Real quick, now that I'm pregnant, the last thing I wanna do is commute to a grocery store to buy groceries or stress about what to cook. The pregnancy symptoms are real. That's why I was so thrilled for today's sponsor, HelloFresh. It's amazing to have healthy, well thought out meals delivered straight to my door. HelloFresh makes planning meals a breeze. They offer a huge variety of five-star recipes to choose from. So no matter what I'm craving, I can get my hands on it. The recipes are easy to follow and come with pre-portioned ingredients. So no waste and no fuss. I also love that they source fresh produce directly from farmers. So I always know that what I'll be getting is not only going to be delicious, it's going to be wholesome and good for me and my baby. Try it out for yourself. Go on over to HelloFresh.com and use my code TAOHUIN16 to get up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts and free shipping. I've been able to get, on average, about seven hours of screen on time, with like 90% of that time spent working in Google Docs side by side with the internet browser. I also like to have some calm music playing on YouTube via picture in picture. Over the weekend, I streamed Netflix on this nonstop, and after like 10 hours, there was still like 25% battery left to spare. In terms of charging, 
like their phones, there's no charging brick in the box. It takes about 80 minutes to fully charge using a 45 watt charger. If you use an older 15 watt charger, expect upwards of three hours to go from zero to 100. For that reason, I'd recommend at least a 25 watt brick. What you will get in the box is the S Pen Stylus. I'm not a student, but I'm one of those people that still takes plenty of notes. I just find it helpful for retaining information. Like you wouldn't do a complex math equation in your head, right? So it just helps when I write things down. I've always found the tips of the S Pen to provide that little bit of friction, which makes it feel more natural. They drop the latency down from 9 to 2.8 milliseconds. And yes, I do notice the slight difference. Even if you're not an artist or note taker, it's a great tool with a bunch of useful features. I personally really like Smart Select for capturing precise screenshots. If you're not a fan of the S Pen's build, there are other alternatives on the market like this one from Lamy. It feels way nicer and even has the button. Because it's identical in build, if you do choose to upgrade from the Tab S7 Plus, you can continue to use the same keyboard cover. I have to say, this magnetic kickstand is the best thing ever. Like, I just love how versatile this thing is. They've also got a slim version, but it uses a different design and doesn't have a trackpad. In terms of performance, like I mentioned, this has the latest processor. The one in the Tab S7 Plus is like two or three generations behind at this point. For my use case though, I don't feel a massive difference. Everything I basically do on these tablets works pretty much the same. That includes things like chopping out 4K footage or like gaming. That might change in a year or two as more demanding apps start to show up. We're at the point where software is what truly enhances the experience and you gotta give them some credit. We complained about janky animations, they worked on it. We complained about unoptimized apps with wonky rotation, Samsung built in solutions to help with that. The battle now is with the lack of professional apps. Hopefully with LumaFusion coming over and Google being interested in tablets again, we start seeing that change too. Samsung tablets have come a long way. Even if you're a 100% team iPad, you gotta admit, they're doing some really cool stuff here. More competition is always a good thing, right? The partnerships are starting to pay off too. The Microsoft integration is great for those who prefer Windows. I especially love the second screen feature that allows you to use the Galaxy tabs to expand your workspace. As for Google, we now have access to Android messages on the Galaxy tabs. So for those of us who prefer that over Samsung messages on our phones, you won't miss out on the integration with the tablets. At times, it does feel like there's too many cooks in the kitchen, if you know what I mean. You've got three big companies all trying to sway you to use their apps and services, which can be a little confusing for consumers. If you own a Galaxy phone, it should play real nice with this tablet. You'll, of course, be able to take calls right on the tablet, and with Quick Share or Samsung Flow, transferring files back and forth is super convenient. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna snap a quick picture, and then Quick Share it to the tab, And bam, there it is. Pretty neat. Alternatively, I could use Samsung Flow and it essentially does the same thing. Very cool if using a cloud service isn't your jam. All right, if you're choosing between the trio of tablets that Samsung launched this year, I think the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is a perfect middle ground. The Ultra is likely too big for most people, and the smaller Tab S8 misses out on that AMOLED screen. This thing is amazing for content consumption. It's a multitasker's dream, and DeX provides a great middle ground for those who have very basic laptop or computer needs. Samsung's still got some work to do to prove that high-end Android tablets are worth it, but I also feel a lot more comfortable recommending Galaxy Tabs now that I know they'll be supported for four years with OS updates and a fifth year with security updates. Once again, shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code TAOHUIN16 to get 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts and free shipping. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.